going. Pushing Pistons here. I'm at the Honda headquarters here in California. And I'm gonna show you guys the 2022 Honda Civic that got announced about a week ago. So let's do a walk around on this, uh, show you guys just an overview of the car. This one right here is the sport trim. It's platinum white and it's got an HPD pack. So we'll talk about that too. Right here, you can see there's these full LED lights and these LED daytime right guys, which looks sick. You have uh, these HPD uh, accents down here. Overall, it looks really aggressive. Um, and you do have 18 inch black wheels and they actually sit pretty nicely within the fenders right there. Um, because this is the sport trim, you have uh, blacked out mirror caps. And because this is the HPD pack, you have that side skirt down there and it says HPD right there, which is really cool. Um, if you go around the back right here, and again, for people who are joining, this is the 2022 Honda Civic and I'm at Honda HQ. So we're gonna go through a lot of stuff. If you guys have questions, drop them in the chat. Uh, so we can answer them at the end. So around the back here, again, Sport HPD pack. You do have deck lid spoiler, blacked out emblems right here, and this HPD one, which is actually really cool. I like that right there. Um, but overall, looks really clean. So, all right. So uh, to show you guys some more of the exterior, I'm gonna invite over Carl Pulley from Honda. Hey Carl, how's it going? Hey, doing nice to see you, bud. Same here. So, uh, tell us, what do you do with Honda? Uh, well, I've been at Honda for about 20 years, and I currently work in the public relations department, and I'm super excited about this 11th generation Civic, guys. I mean, this is just fantastic. Now, um, the 10th generation has been hugely successful. Mm -hmm. As you know, Abdullah, yeah. 1.7 million of wow. those vehicles sold in the US alone in the 10th generation. So, obviously, for the designers and engineers, it's like, don't mess with success, yeah. but to stay ahead, you've got to move forward. Mm -hmm. But what they did to move forward is they looked back a little bit at some of their historical uh, civics and try to get some inspiration. And they mm -hmm. really landed on the third generation of, of civic, which they call the Wonder Civic. Okay. And it had this wonderful, clean and clear design with a long hood mm -hmm. and expansive greenhouse. So they kind of hooked on that with the sense of clean and clear and that's what they worked on here. So okay. they worked on this more athletically sporty yeah. Civic. Looks aggressive. Is it any significantly like wider, longer than the last generation? Can you talk about that? Well, interesting you say that because when people look at it, they're like, oh, it's much bigger. But mm -hmm. actually, it's the same size as the current Civic. Wow. It's just an inch longer, but that's the width yeah. is the same, the height is the same. But that's all to do with this wonderful design, with this mm -hmm. long, low hood that drops down at the nose. We have these lower LED headlights, and then the grill is below the level of the headlights, and this wonderful big air intake that really kind of creates this wide, planted look. Yeah. I mean, it's athletically sporty, and if we look around the side, mm -hmm. the A pillars were moved back by two inches, and the front of the hood was lowered an inch, and it really accentuates the length of that hood, gives it a sense of power underneath. Yeah. Also, it it shortened this area here to really accentuate those beautiful 18 inch wheels that you talked about. Mm -hmm. One of the big design elements is this long character line that runs from the front all the way to the rear and connects those LED headlights. And it really gives that sense of length. The wheelbase is a little bit longer and the vehicle is about an inch and a half longer, but the rear overhang is shorter. The front overhang is a little bit longer for good crash protection. Mm -hmm. So it really gives it that really premium sporty des design. Um, and this other character line that comes to the, the lower and then hooks up here towards the rear, yeah. gives it a little bit more heft at the rear. So it really feels as though it's on its haunches, ready to launch forward. forward, exactly. Yeah, I kind of got that vibe. Can you tell me, I think a lot of people want to know the engines, what engines are we going to get in these uh, new Civics? Absolutely. So um, this is the Sport and that's the Touring. We have two, two different powertrains. Mm -hmm. This one has a two litre normally aspirated four cylinder VTEC engine. Oh, nice. It's yeah, 158 horsepower and 138 foot pounds of torque, but amazingly gets better fuel economy than the previous uh, generation. The Touring, the top two trims, get the 1.5 litre turbocharged engine that also has VTEC on the exhaust valves. Okay. And the power's been bumped up to 180 horsepower wow. and 177 pound-feet of torque. And amazingly still, fuel economy was improved on that one as well. Wow. All right. Well, I guess 
this was the outside walk around. If you guys, people who are tuning in right now, we're at the Honda HQ going over the 2022 Civic. We just did a quick walk around on the outside, but I know this one has a lot of the bells and whistles on the inside, so let's check that out. Absolutely. So that whole clean and clear look to the interior comes into the interior as well. Boy. Now, this is the thing that wowed me the most, is how different and how, how different this from the current generation Civic, but mm -hmm. also for any other vehicle out there. And obviously the big thing that really notice is this wonderful long horizontal honeycomb grill that not only looks beautiful and premium, mm -hmm. but it hides the vents. Yeah. And it has these great little controls that kind of self-center. And so you still have full like functionality it, yeah. of the vents, but also they're hidden. So it really kind of gives that clean and clear look. And also, as you just noted, yeah, sounds like these are so satisfying yeah. to operate. I mean, they have this wonderful click and feel to them. So every touch point that you reach for, it comes to hand. It really assists, you know, driving, whether it's the paddle shifters, the shape of the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. Another cool feature is this finger shelf, which is soft touch material that anchors your hand when you're using the color touch screen. And yeah. the color touch screen is standard. Uh, nine inch on the two upper trims and mm -hmm. then a seven inch on the two lower trims. Another cool feature is this finger uh, proof, uh, fingerprint proof, um, almost like a hound's tooth kind of material. So it feels great to touch, but it looks cool. And I'm putting my fingers all over yeah, it, you know, but you don't see any fingerprints. A lot of like cars have that here and it gets all, it's a fingerprint magnet. So I'm glad they, that's pretty cool that they paid attention to that. Um, going back to the infotainment, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, can we expect that here? Oh, absolutely. So standard across all the Civics. Mm -hmm. And then on the top touring trim, you get wireless Android app, um, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Also, you get um, wireless charging as well. Cool. Also, when it comes to standard features, all of the Civics get a Honda Sensing suite of driver-assistive and, um, and safety equipment. So collision nice. mitigating braking, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control and talking about that the adaptive cruise control um, which you see an image of the vehicle here ahead this is kind of cool in that when you operate the lights of the vehicle no oh, i like that it shows and when this is on adaptive cruise control if it senses a vehicle ahead it will actually show a vehicle on that screen mm. if it's a motorbike you know what? It'll show a motorbike. Oh, that's cool. That's a nice little touch. And that's actually important. Showing you that the car is actually paying attention to what's in front of it. Exactly. That's nice feedback. And this is the first time with Honda we've got a full digital dash. Mm. And so we have various different modes. And you can kind of go to customize. And you can go to gauge design. And it's currently in a kind of a circular design, a round design that I like. But you can go to bar design. And it does this great nice. little digital dance. Yeah. I like it in round. And so this is kind of a cool feature. Uh, another cool feature is the um, drive modes. Yeah. So um, if we use this button down here, we can go to Econ, and that basically gives you the best fuel economy. Mm -hmm. And then we can go to Normal, which is your standard around town, everyday driving. But then if you're in the twisties, you want to have a little fun, mm. then you go into sport. And Everything that, goes red. I like that. Oh, yeah. No, it, it, it's super cool. And it, and it just changes the character of the car. Mm -hmm. And so it uh, adjusts the, the throttle response as well as the transmission. It uses a CVT, a constantly variable transmission. Mm -hmm. But it has kind of shift points that really kind of feel very natural when you're using it. And so it just that as well. So it's really cool. You so you have three cars in one. That is awesome. And if you guys are just tuning in, we do that. We're in the 2022 Honda Civic. We're, doing, we're in the inside of it right now, going through all the interior uh, features, which is honestly super impressive. So if you guys have questions, we're gonna answer that right now. So I'll go over to the, oh, go to the questions right here. Um, let's see. How about the SI? So can you tell us about uh, the, if an SI is gonna be coming, future? Oh, absolutely. So obviously we're starting with the sedan. Um, the sedan doesn't come with a manual, but, the hatchback will be next. We'll definitely have a manual transmission and arguably Honda makes the best manual transmissions. Um, and then we will definitely have an SI and as traditionally only comes with a manual transmission, that will be the case here. And for those super enthusiasts, yes, we will have a Civic Type R coming out. And again, nice. that will be manual transmission as well. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Mm, we can talk about transmission options. 
Uh, can you go over again the horsepower you can get from this Civic? Yeah, so the two lower um, trims with the two litre engine is 158 horsepower and 138 pound feet of torque. This uh, Touring, the, the two top trims get the 1.5 litre turbo engine. That is bumped up by seven horsepower to 180 horsepower and up 14 pound feet of torque to 177 so you have a lot of oomph off the line yeah that's awesome um can you tell us a little bit about like pricing when we can expect to see these on dealership absolutely can't talk about pricing right now but okay. these will be on dealership floors in mid-june and we'll have all the information including prices at time of on sale so definitely visit your dealer keep the tires slam the doors take it for a test drive and they'll be able to give you all the information then cool awesome i'm gonna see let's see some more questions here um Let's see, VTEC, we did confirm there is gonna be VTEC on the naturally aspirated and on the exhaust portion, on the exhaust valves for the yes, turbo, right? Absolutely, so VTEC in the traditional sense on the two liter normally aspirated um, with different um, uh, valve um, openings. Um, it assists in performance as well as fuel economy. There is a VTEC um, that operates on the exhaust valves. Awesome, and then can we see the exterior? Let's do another walk around the exterior real quick for the people who are just tuning in because this do look really nice on the outside too. So, all right, the one we're looking at right here is the sport trim. It's got the platinum white. So I want to do a quick walk around here. Very aggressive front end, all new, very different from the last generation. And the nice uh, daytime running lights out front right there. And again, guys, this is the 2022 Honda Civic. It's gonna be coming out really soon. We're at Honda HQ showing you guys it here for the very first time in detail. This one is an HPD equipped sport package. So you, you have the 18 inch black wheels, blacked out mirror caps, side skirts right there, which are super nice and aggressive. You have a nice little HPD logo right there. So again, going around back real quick, guys, just wanna show you blacked out deck lid spoiler, blacked out Civic badge, the Honda badge, the sport, and you get an HPD badge right there. So, is anything you want to talk your favorite feature of the exterior for oh, this? Oh, absolutely. I mean, just, I love how athletic it looks. So, I mean, it really does have the sense of a premium sports sedan. And again, this is the Civic. This is what Honda does. They give premium content, premium performance, premium driving dynamics on an affordable package that's mm -hmm. affordable for people to get their brand new first car. And so I'm so proud to work with Honda to offer this great new Civic. That looks great. All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, Carl, for showing us the outside, the interior features. Thank you guys for asking all those amazing questions. More will be coming out on this soon, so stay tuned. And yeah, look forward to seeing more.